Hello, it is Friday night. Here we go. Uh, I just checked the time and went, oh my goodness, it's already after 7.30, so I'm a couple of minutes late. I am apologising for that up front. So, so sorry, but I see you guys have all been entertaining each other here anyway. People are chatting, so that's lovely. Hi, Cherie. Hi, Shirley. Oh, no, Cherie was here earlier and said she'd be back later, so I wonder if she's back already. Hi, Cindy. How are you? Hey, Rose. How are you doing this week? I'm just having a look here. I hope everyone's had a great week too. Hey there, Deb. How are you? Nice to see you. Uh, do, 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 do. Yes, I. how did you fall out of the caravan, Cindy? I don't know how that happened. Were you, did you trip? But that's a pretty, pretty mammoth thing to have happen. Must have been very, a bit of a shock. And I agree with Lynn. It's really good news to hear you're recovering. How are you, Lynn? Nice to see you there. Hey, Margaret Janoski. Margaret Gordon said she might not be able to watch tonight because she had had a very big day. <laughs> she watched. I did a video late um, earlier today with our team and um, and she was on that one and said that uh, she was out and about at that point. So she's obviously um, burning the candle at both ends. <laughs> hi there, Katrina. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Carol. Hello, everyone. Hey, Denise. Hi, Glenda. Okay. I'm going to get started. Oh, hello, Joan. How are you? I'm going to get started so I don't get too caught up saying hi to everyone because otherwise I'll just talk and talk and talk and we won't get any crafting done and we need to get some crafting done. You'll see I'm wearing my Norway sweater tonight. It's cold tonight here at home. Um, we, our house is, not, uh, is very poorly heated and it has no insulation. Thank you, Katrina. This is the one they gave us um, for the trip. So um, it's really, really warm. It's pure wool, Norwegian sweater, actually made made over there. And goodness knows it gets a lot colder there than it does here. So they know what they're doing when they make a warm jumper. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's, um, yeah, it's really nice. And I did put it on today to just keep extra warm. So, yeah, the house here has no insulation. And we have got reverse cycle air conditioning, but it only heats one room in the house, which is the living room. Um, my craft room uh, was in a, a late addition to the house, so it has zero insulation. It's very cold. Um, and my daughter's room is very cold as well, um, and Ben's room is really cold. So, yeah, it's it's not ideal. But one of these days, when we have a little bit more more money in the in the bank, we will um, spend up and get it, uh, get it um, insulated and some better heating. That would be awesome because then I wouldn't be dreading winter so much. <laughs> But that's okay. Oh, did you? Oh, you got, I'm just having a little look. You got the um, the inspiration pack. Is that what you're trying to say, Margaret? I think a couple of people here probably got their inspiration packs this week. I sent them out. It was Monday or Tuesday. No, it wasn't Monday because Monday was public holiday. It was Tuesday I sent them out. Um, oh, your house is freezing too, Megan. We have really high ceilings. Is that your problem? Because it's super super high ceilings um make for make for a very cold house um there is a there is actually a um fireplace in the chimney but we don't use it very often uh, i thought that's what you meant margaret that's good yeah everybody got different cards i rated my stash because goodness knows i need to send out more cards because i have a lot of cards just sitting here in boxes um from years and years and years ago but i um i tried to send out some more recent ones um, there you go. Who said there was no alcohol involved? Go, going back to, oh, Cindy, no alcohol involved in falling out of the caravan. Are you sure? <laughs> and you don't know how you did it either. Oh, goodness me. Hello, Monique. Good morning to you over in the, in, over in the Netherlands. You have no picture. Does anyone else have no picture? Or is it just Joan? Maybe try refreshing your screen, Joan, maybe? Is anybody else having that problem? Let's find that out before I go any further. Oh, Leslie, you're in hospital. Oh, that's not good. Eight weeks is a long time to wear a back brace. Ugh. All good for you. Glenda has a picture. Joan, I don't know what's going on. Can you refresh? Use that little turny arrow up in the left-hand corner, top left-hand corner, um, and see if that 
brings back your picture, maybe. I am not sure what's going on there. Sorry about that. But I have I have a picture here. I can see myself and I can see all your comments. So I'm hoping everyone's okay. All right. So what we're going to do tonight, um, I did promise last weekend that we would, um, we're wait, working our way through most of the uh, designer series papers this month because right now there is a designer series paper sale. So it's 15% off all your designer series papers. So instead of, um, and they're all here on the, on the sheet that I've got here, this little sale flyer, um, our designer series paper, except for one, all of them are 12 sheets of 12 by 12 paper or, or 48 sheets of 6 by 6 paper. Um, and they're all normally $21.75 and right now they're $18.48. So if you're buying a couple, you could actually, you know, end up with a good little saving there. Um, there is one pack of paper that's a bigger pack. It's a 48 sheet 12 by 12 pack. Huge. And it's called Design Delightfully Eclectic. I've actually just ordered it because I realized, I didn't realize until somebody told me that some of the sheets match some of our bits and pieces. So we've got a couple of punches that match um, some sheets in there. And we've also got, um, there's a sheet that matches the daisies dies. So I thought, well, maybe that's a really good one for me to get. So that will arrive this week and I might use that next weekend. But that's normally $53. Uh, which actually makes it a good value set because if you were to work out the normal price of a 12 by 12, 12 sheet pack, it would work out to be more than that for a 48 sheet pack. But it's $53 marked down to 45 and 5 cents. So it's, um, it's a good little saving. All right, I'm going to switch over to the desk and let's have a little look. Um, you're in winter. Yes, Monique, it is winter. <laughs> yes. It's 30 degrees there, and right now I'm not sure what how hot how, does anyone know? I, I'd say probably maybe about 10 degrees or something like that, uh, which for us is cold, or maybe even down into single feet. Like I know when I got up yesterday morning, it was only six degrees, so that's cold for us. Um, it doesn't usually dip below zero here, and it doesn't snow here either, but there are other parts of Australia that absolutely it does. My dad lives in Tamworth and it gets really cold up there. Armadale, those kind of places up on the northern tablelands, they get really cold. Inverell, Glen Innes. Yeah. It's only 10 in Horsham, says Anita. <laughs> and that's down south. 14 degrees is is uh, in Queensland. And that's pretty cool for Queensland. So there you go. 12 degrees here, Denise. Denise and I live close together, so that's how much it must be right now. Okay. All right, we didn't come here to talk about the weather, did we? No, let's switch over to the desk view and see how we go. So here's my designer series papers that are on sale. You can see most of them are on sale. Okay, there's. I just looked and it's a little bit dull here on the desk. So I'm actually going to switch on my, there we go. That's better, isn't it? Look at that, instant better, much, much better. Let me just try and straighten up my camera. All right, that's better. Hello, Nairi. Nice to see you there. Hi, Leslie. Nine in Sydney, says Kelly. Right. Okay, so tonight I want to use a couple of different papers. I did promise last weekend that we would use the Let's Go Fishing stuff, and I've got a bit of an idea of what we might do with that. So I'm going to have a little play with that. Okay, and then the other one that I'm probably going to use is the Ink Botanicals. Okay, those two are on my radar tonight. There are others I'd like to use as well. But those two are the ones I've got in mind. Um, and I, I will show you a couple of cards we use, we made this week too. I made these cards for a class. Um, this one is actually using, remember last weekend we played with the Zoo Crew set and that's one of the Zoo Crew um, little characters there, which I've cut out and popped onto a background with some of the Zoo Crew paper here. So this was actually to show the... Um, the white center paper and you can see I've sanded around the edges so that the white is showing look, gives it a bit of a distressed look and I really like that this one I used the white center paper I ripped it and you can see it rips and shows off that white that white center as well and that's a really nice way of doing it and this one I embossed it with an embossing folder and then sanded it back and so the white comes out in the design of the embossing folder and that looks really nice so 
Oh, you ordered the white centre paper today, Janice. There you go. Yeah, it's nice to use. It's good for classes too because there's lots of different things you can do with it. Um, and I, I, this is my favourite. I really like how this one turned out. So um, that's just a nice idea. That's one of our specialty papers. And I've got to tell you that specialty papers are one of my favourite things in every catalogue. Now, in this one, they're on page 127 and they're all here together, which actually... I don't love it because it makes it hard to see them and some of them are so beautiful. We're going to use a couple of them tonight. You can see this dazzle paper in the middle. That's what it looks like. It comes in two colours in the one pack. There's the, there's the um, silvery colour and there's the gold and it, they're really beautiful. Like a Glomish handbag is what I keep saying because that's what it reminds me of. I just love them. Beautiful. Um, and then I haven't got the holograph paper yet, but I do have, I got this one during the week. Um, it's the shimmer, shimmer paper in um, the textured shimmer paper. Absolutely beautiful. It comes in white shaded spruce and balmy blue, and you can see it's got a beautiful shine to it as well. Gorgeous. Um, and I used it to make a card with some products that are coming out next month. Um, most uh, demonstrators are able to order them now. They're called online exclusives and we've got a new bunch of those coming out in um, July. And so the, the video I made for my team today was using one of the sets from that online exclusive release. So if you're in the team, go back and have a look and that will give you a bit of a sneak peek of what's coming up in July. Um, I haven't... Um, I haven't actually done anything for customer facing videos or um, pictures yet, but I will have some things going ahead. I'm sorry, did I miss some comments? Um, I can see that people are chatting, 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 chatting. That's really good. Oh, you're picking your son up from the train station, Megan. Okay, we'll see you soon. Um, oh, hey, Michelle. Nice to see you there. <laughs> Hello everyone, um, everyone Michelle's joining us um, and Michelle Miller is a very accomplished demonstrator as well and it's lovely to have her with us, so that's lovely. The paper does look good, Monique, doesn't it? It's fabulous. Oh, Leslie, that sounds very not nice. I'm so sorry. Well, I hope you can relax and just enjoy this video tonight and not think too much about being in hospital. It's yucky. Yeah, it's no holiday, as Anita says. That's really, really horrible. Oh, all right. And if I missed any other comments, I'm so sorry. Oh, Michelle, I missed your comment. You said 13. So, oh, is it really? Well, that's actually where I grew up in that area. Do you know Delungra, Glinda? Because that's where I grew up. Delungra between Inverell and Warrialda. And I went to high school in Warrialda. So there you go. But my family had a lot of um, involvement in Inverell. And I moved into Inverell um, for a couple of years um, when I started working. So there you go. It's I, I wouldn't say it's my hometown, but close. <laughs> so there you go. We might have we might have passed each other in the street and not known. How about that? I feel I do know a lot of people from that area. Oh, you're very welcome, Michelle. No problems at all. Oh, other the other Michelle. Well, you're also an amazing and talented demonstrator as well, Michelle, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. It is a lovely area. Yeah, my, my family had a property out between Delunga and Warrialda. So there you go. Grew up on the land. Okay, so we have got lots and lots of cool specialty paper in here. Um, I've been playing a bit with the shimmer paper. I love this shimmer paper pack. Do have a little look at these. So there's lots and lots of things on offer. And unless you actually go and look really carefully, you're going to miss these. They're hard to see, and I don't think they're shown even a little bit to their best advantage. These are the white centre papers that I was talking about. They come in Lemon Lime Twist, Azure Afternoon, Night of Navy, Berry Burst, and Fresh Freezer. Okay, so anyway, that gives you something to look at. If you're looking for some really cool paper, the thing about specialty paper is it is actually really special, and that is why it's called specialty paper, and it can really add some pizzazz to your cards. So... Um, that's something I think is worth knowing. Oh, that's, it might be, man, maybe it is your internet, Joan. I'm so sorry, but you're, you're able to, now you've got no sound. Well, that's weird. So you've got the photo, but not the sound. Okay, well, at least you can watch me make something, right? So let's get our um, Let's Go Fishing paper out. And I want to show it to you. 
Um, it is really nice paper. I love that on the back of your paper packs, it always tells you that, um, all the colours that are in the paper. And this is paper that could be used for masculine cards. It doesn't have to be. Um, girls can go fishing too, right? I used to love fishing. I used to, my favourite thing in the whole wide world when I was a kid was fishing with my dad. Um, my dad loved to fish, never had much time, and we only did it really when, he, when we were on holidays, but, um, but it brings back good memories for me. So we have some beautiful, like there's misty moonlight here and all the little fishies in boho blue and misty moonlight on little background there. Then we've got some netting. I really like this. The colour in this is Pebbled Path, which is one of the new um, the new in colours. And on the back of that, you've got fishing, fishing lines, fishing rods on a wild wheat background. And actually, that actually works really well. I don't know why. Now, this one, you have to kind of pull it out to see it. It's got kind of like a map there. Can you see that? It's actually easier to see the map, I think, um, from the camera. So that's interesting. And on the back of that, we've got some water. I really like the water. I think the water is really nice. And then the next one, we have little flies and lures for your fishing. And on the back of that, we've got this... Um, I think it is um, maybe copper clay. I'm not sure what colour that one is. I need to double check. Then we've got some uh, stripes in the pebble path. And on the back of that, we've got little flies again, little little tiny flies on the hooks. And a check one. And we've got little fishies here. Now, some of these fish, let me show you, the dyes that match this set, some of them, here are the dyes, these dies are really interesting because you can make a tackle box. Can you see that? So this actually cuts a tackle box if you wanted to make a tackle, tackle box and put like little uh, spinners and hooks and all sorts of little things in the tackle box you can. And then there's also this great little um, like a watery a watery uh, die. Now, the interesting thing about this watery die is that it cuts one side. So it cuts the line at the top and then embosses just underneath. So actually, I'll show you at some point a card that I've made. We've got a few dies like this that only cut one side. So you can actually like cut a slit in the paper and then slide something in. So that's kind of cool. And then we've got like little pools or little... Um, um, what do you call them? Ripples. Ripples when something's been dropped in the water. So you could have, um, and actually, where is the stamp set? Here's the stamp set. This is the matching stamp set. So you could make your little um, bobber, little float, and colour your float and then have it so it's bobbing and maybe disappearing into the water here. So it's it's a really useful set. And I, I've seen a couple of people do um, tackle boxes with it, which I think are really fun. Okay, so you can have a lot of fun with this set, but this is what I wanted to show you. This little this little fish die here actually works with a lot of the fish. He cuts out the trout on here, so you can have a trout there, and then a different coloured trout up here. So you can see that's really cute. So we are probably going to do that. I think we will do that, and I want to put my fishies onto I've got to decide what color background I couldn't decide before I started so we're going to um, put I'm deciding whether to have um, maybe some some of the water the water look I was thinking the water if I did the water I will probably do it on the misty the misty moonlight because it doesn't work as well on this but that might be a nice thing to do. And then we can have our fish actually on the water. That would work really well. Um, so I probably would go with Misty Moonlight for that reason. But there's, you really can go to town and use lots and lots of different parts of this and put them together and have different, different kind of ideas. So I'm actually thinking, I'm actually going to pull out, I'm going to cut this in half. And I'm going to pull out one of my new favourite die sets that I don't think I've shown you. I've shown you cards I've made with it. For example, this card I made with it. See this element in the middle with the, the rounded corners? That's actually a new set of dies, and I'm going to use that tonight. And the new set of dies are called Nested. Let me think what they're called. I think I've already got them out. 
and you can put them back where they are supposed to be. Oh. All right, so this is the bit where you guys get to take a drink, I guess, because I'm looking for these because I put them aside and have not put them back. And that was naughty because I was using them just before I went live. <laughs> Did I put them over here? Let me see. Nope. Give me a moment, guys. Well, that's very, very poor of me. I should have had them ready, but because I just used them, I wasn't worried about them. If I can't find them, we'll just change up to something else. As soon as I stop looking for these, I'm going to find them. All right, looks like we've got to change up to something else, but that's okay. That's what I wanted to use. Never mind. It's okay. All right, so I've got some white cardstock. Actually, this is white thick. And I'm not going to do that. I'm going to fold this in half and made my, make my card base. I'm doing it vertically for a change. Annoyed myself for misplacing those dies. That's silly. Never mind. All right. So this one needs to be cut down just a little bit. It's a little long. I need this to be 14.3 long. Does anyone else do that? You're changing your mind. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I feel the same way. There's a lot of sets like that. And when you really start to, I didn't get the paper initially. I, it just didn't, I don't know, just didn't grab me, I guess. And then all of a sudden I started deciding that, hey, maybe I do like it. All right, so I'm going to cut this thing as I can. Seeing as I can't find the dies that I wanted, I wanted to use those nested essentials dies, but that's okay. I'm going to make, deciding how much, I'm going to make this, I'm going to start with 10 centimetres and I'm going to cut it at, six and a half. And let's see how that goes. That's probably about right actually. And then I would like a darker, a darker colour. I could go, hmm, what colour are our fish? Our fish have some blue and they also have some green, like mossy meadow in them. Huh. Maybe I'll just go with navy because navy is easy and will work for what I want to do. Navy is just that little bit stronger than misty moonlight. I could do black, but I think that would be not right. I don't want to do that. So it was six and a half wide, wasn't it? And did I say 10 long or was it nine? No, 10. So I'm going to cut this at 10 and a half, so half a centimetre more. And we're going to get a very similar look to what I had anticipated anyway. I was going to use two dies, but that's okay. And this is seven wide. So that means this piece fits directly inside here. Okay, let's move this piece out of the way. And I'm going to pop that on. I know, just used it, literally, right? <laughs> uh, Leslie, I think that um, if you have someone in mind for a set, like, you know, you, like you said, your son loves to fish. If you know you have someone in mind, it makes the set even more useful than just liking it because you like it. It's lovely to have someone in mind when you're making things. I just think it makes it easier if you have someone in your head. All right, so let's move that into place. Because I use Tombow, I can slide it around a little bit. And now this is going to go here. So can, you, can you see why I picked up the Knight of Navy? Because you have that darker blue that's going to work. All right, so... Then I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a couple of fish. So I'm gonna cut my paper down so I can go through my machine. 
and I could use my mini machine or my big machine. I've got my big machine handy, so we'll just go with that. And don't be don't be shocked, Ma uh, Michelle. That I this is Michelle Kersaboom. I'm, I think there might be vellum coming. Just to let you, just to warn you, because I know you wouldn't expect that, right? So. I'm going to bring in my machine and we're going to cut ourselves a fishy. I'm going to cut a blue fishy. And of course, this is a lot easier than trying to cut them by hand, but they're not hard to cut by hand. So if you don't have the dies, you could easily cut these by hand just with the paper. So you don't have to have the set to make this, this paper work for you. But if you do, it just gives you a few more options. All right, so there's our there's our fishy. He looks good, doesn't he? And then I'm going to do a second fishy. That was a blue one. So this time I'm going to do I'm going to do a a green and he's got a little bit of pink on him, like a bit of shall I say it, a bit of salmon. <laughs> but that's probably not. I'm sure trouts don't want to be referred to as salmon. All right, so now we have two fishies. Now, I was thinking, how many fishies should I do? Should I do two? Should I do three? Usually three, if you've got elements, um, three is usually a smart thing. Now, we could just put them straight onto the white, sorry, onto the paper, beg your pardon, and, you know, have them going off like this, which would work quite well. Or we can add a vellum element. Now, I haven't said that it should be... But this is what it would look like if I had a circle, okay? So I would put, pop that in the middle and the fish would stand out a little bit more if we did that. So that's a possibility. But you wouldn't have to do that. You could have a smaller circle. You could have... I think the square won't work because because it's going to... Um, it won't work with the sides of my... But I'm going to just see if there's any other shapes that I have handy that it might work with. A bigger square. No, it's the same. So I think in this case, sorry to tell everyone this, but I think in this case a circle works the best. What do you guys think? Or do you think we do it without? <laughs> you just topped up your drink, Michelle. You know I'm going to find them as soon as I'm not looking for them, right? They're going to suddenly appear and I'm going to go, there they are. I'm just really annoyed with myself because I literally used them like less than half an hour before I went live. So I've obviously moved them somewhere. Do I want to do a third one? I'm going to do a third one just in case. But I'm wondering, I'd actually like one that's facing the other way and I don't think I have a die for that because there's not a die for all the fish just the trout I think let me pull this out of the way and double check I'm thinking that maybe I'll just cut out one of these one that's going that way so either maybe this looks like a, a tuna or a mackerel or something and and then maybe a little I don't know this is a perch any fish fish experts out there so I'm going to do this one so I'm going to cut it it won't take long. So you can see when you cut, um, I would cut with just like leave a little bit of a, a gap between your scissor cut and the actual outline. It just makes it look, uh, it's a bit more forgiving and it makes it look a little bit more professional. And you'll notice most of our dies cut with a little bit of a gap as well. Not 100%, but most of them do. It just looks better. Did you notice on my shirt I've got Stampin' Up on this one and I've got Norway on this one. That's pretty cool, huh? Isn't that cute? And the sleeves are way too long. That's something we did notice that um, either Norwegians have really long arms or they like to make their sweaters long. But actually it's really good if you're cold because you can pull down the – see, it's got really lovely design on the on the edge there. You can pull them down and keep your hands warm. <laughs> but it's not very good for crafting. I know, right, Anne? How unusual. That's just that's just me, I'm afraid. 
it's do you know the funny thing is it has almost i'm going to be really honest with you guys and let you know that the whole vellum thing has almost become a little bit of my branding so people expect it so much now that they associate me with vellum and that's not a bad thing because you want people to associate you with certain things and there's other things that are part of my branding as well you know i've got a i've got a ginger cat i've got a little birdie that likes to make noise he's being pretty quiet tonight he did he did make a noise a little earlier but He's um, very quiet at the moment. But, um, yeah, and bling and sparkly things, those are all part of my branding as well. So there's, you know, things that people expect you to use actually become part of that. So, all right, so we're going to pop this on and I'm deciding where I want this to go. Now, if I wanted to put a greeting on this, then I would want this to be centred. And if I want to have a greeting like down the bottom here then I could have you know I could move that up a little bit so in a second we need to think about that we could have a just a simple congrats as a happy retirement those are both nice um also I've got a couple of other sets like we've also got um the he's all that set which has got a happy father's day it's actually father's day in the u.s this weekend i believe but not here in australia it's actually um not until the first sunday in september here in australia so um yeah i i like this wishing you a happy father's day i think that's really nice and love this guy that's really cute too that works we could use that one that might be nice so i'm going to put the fishies all right, the first thing I want to do, though, I've got three fishies and I've got two going one way and one the other. I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab my um, blending brush. Have I got one here? Mm, that one's the wrong colour. Let me grab a blue one. And I'm going to go, I'm not sure if Misty Moonlight might be too dark, but let's see. I'm going to put a bit of colour behind the fishies because I think it will help them stand out more. So I'm going to go into my um, Misty Moonlight and I'm going to go here on my grid paper first because you can see there's quite a bit of ink blobbing kind of on the top. The ink is sitting, but I want to kind of start blending it in and then move on to my circle. All right, so you can see that it doesn't leave as much of an ink blob if you do that. And I'm just going softly over the edges to kind of blend it in a little bit more. Okay, that's probably close to what I want. All right, so I'm not sure where my fishies are going to go, but let's see. Maybe, maybe like that. That would look all right. All right, so let's pop these on with dimensionals because that'll make them look better. And pop one there. So one or two um, dimensionals behind each of the fish will be sufficient. The perch honey or whatever he is, he only needs one. But the trout are a bit longer, so I'm going to give them two. Now, also, having that bit of blending, because we're going onto a blue background, that's actually going to, uh, like, enhance that background. So you can see what it looks like on the white, but when you put it on the blue, it really shows beautifully. It's nice, isn't it? Don't we like that? Isn't that nice? All right, so then Perch is going to go back the other way. And then my little trout, which I've managed to stick to my cardstock here. That's okay, though. It's going to go. Oh, it helps if you take the back off properly. Oh, it hasn't stuck on very well because of the blending. So when you've got ink blending, it does, it does, it does, um, does not stick initially as well. So just bear that in mind. All right, looks good. All right, so I'm going to pop these guys on here. 
and I'm moving it up a tiny, tiny bit from the bottom. I want the same amount of the circle sticking out at the top and the bottom, and I'm going to whack this on dimensionals as well. Once you've got your elements on your vellum, it's really easy to pop the dimensionals underneath where those elements are so it makes it really easy to hide them. I'm sorry I haven't looked at any comments. I'm trouble with this only shipping labels. <laughs> I um yeah I haven't is that about right? Yep that's about right. Alright so more dimensionals. I think I'm using half a pack of dimensionals on this card potentially but that's okay. I think it'll be worth it. Good thing I make sure I, I nearly always, not every single order, but most orders I stick a pack of dimensionals on my order because I go through them faster than just about anything else and sometimes Tombow as well. All right, so I'm going to position this in the middle because I am going to put my greeting on the bottom of the rectangle. All right, now um, if you want to, you can um, use a sponge or a dauber to go around the edge to darken up the edge. I'm too lazy for that tonight, so I'm actually going to just dip my edges like I'm just going to run the edge along with the misty moonlight. Oh, but a lot that one. Oh well. It's a new pad, that's the only thing. So it's a bit inky. But oh well, that's okay. Everyone's not so good. Cindy and Leslie are not well. That's, well, both recovering, shall we say. Tails to the edge. Tails to the edge. What do you mean? Sorry. Is it not, is it not um, as it should be? Oh, it's in the zone. Exactly. In the zone, right? That's where we need to be. All right. So I'm going to grab some white just a piece of white um, white paper and I'm going to grab my Misty Moonlight ink pad which I already have right here and I'm going to stamp my little greeting on this. I'm going to use this set because I like the shape of this greeting. So I could use congrats too but I like this Love This Sky because it's. I just like the way this one, it's like a reverse a revert, you know, you hit this. The print is actually white, it's a rounded that is the that is the um color. So, I'm going to pop that on block. What block is this? This is block G. G is just for like a little sentiment. I'm going to ink that up. Oh, goodness me, that's an inky stamp. Might be too inky. Yeah, what do you think? Can you read that okay? It's a little bit over, isn't it? I'm going to see if I can I'm going to do it one more time. And if it's still too inky, yeah, the first one was better. I've actually got somewhere, let me just quickly locate it, a, another Misty Moonlight, which is an older one because Misty Moonlight is a returning colour. So this is, I still have this ink pad from when we had the colour before. So this one isn't as inky. I really need to massage this one with a spoon. Some of you have seen me do that before. Um, this one should come out better. See, that's actually much better, easier to see. Yeah? But, yeah. That's, that's the best one of all. Okay. So I'm going to use that one instead of my brand new ink pad. My brand new ink pad needs a good massage. The other one that's a little bit more... Uh, a little bit older is the one that oh, which one do I want yeah I'm going to use this one so this I like this this little greeting because you don't need a die for it it's actually there might be a die for this one in the set but it's easy enough to just cut out without the need for a die can't remember I haven't used the set's dies for a while but as you can see really easy to cut around just Zip around each side. And Susan's joined the conversation. That's lovely. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Thank you. 
So something I need to do better that I don't do very well. So I'm going to have this one going slightly off the edge here. I think that, that would look good because I've got two fish going this way, one that way, and if I have this coming over here a little bit, I think that adds a bit of balance. So I could put it on dimensionals, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to pop it on flat. Uh, use my combo again. Let's whack that on. About there. Now, Jody, what do you think? Do we need bling? That's the thing. Um, can I just tell you, sometimes when I'm creating, I think of other partner uh, partner dies, ones that would work really well, and I just thought of one that would work really, really well with this. Some of you may already have it, and it's called the Chic Dies. Does anyone know this one? We've had these for a little while. They're in, they're in this catalogue, but... Um, uh, yeah, they've been around for a year or two. But there's one die in there, this one, that you could easily um, cut and use the netting because to me it looks like netting and pop it in there behind the fishies somewhere. Wouldn't that look nice? I think that'd be really good. I might have to do something with that. It's very cool. So that's another, that's an option. If you have that one, you may find that works really well with this set. All right, I think bling, we do need some bling. Hey there, Nari, that's okay. <laughs> um, all right, so we have we can do some black matte dots. Those would look nice. But I have a couple of, I'm thinking maybe, maybe some of these guys would be good. I mean, either gold or the bronze. Actually, the bronze would go really well with our fishies. They might be the choice. What do you think? Do we like these? It would look good, wouldn't it? Oh, yes, bladder of wink. Do I have any wink handy? I've got to order more wink. I'm nearly out. Last time I went to use some, I was a bit disappointed to see that it wasn't as winky as it should have been. We need winky wink, right? <laughs> the netting, yeah, really, really good. Bronze, says Jody. Yep, yeah, let's go with it. I, I agree. I think that's really nice. So I'm going to have one down here. And it goes really nice with the green in this, um, in this piece. I'm going to have a large one here and a little guy up here. All right. And then I'm going to whack the whole thing on a white card base that we folded earlier, remember? So let's, you know, if I can find the white card base. Oh, yeah, well, it's here. Yay. Go me. Oh, da, da, da. upside down. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How many times have I done that? Anyone else? Who else is prepared to put their hand up and admit that they've put their cards, their card fronts on upside down? Because that's, that, yeah, that happens all the time. I would love to add some Winker Stella to those fishies and make them look all slippery. That would be fun. But I just, um, my wink is not is not as it should be. I've got one, but it's not winky. So, yes. Oh, low, low stock for that. All right, that's good to know. I'll have to order some before it runs out. You've done it. Yeah, I know. Denise, Rose, and Michelle and Leslie. <laughs> the set with the little bubbles in it. No, no. You, are you thinking of the sea turtle? The sea turtle has bubbles. Is that the one you mean? Um, this one. See, it has bubbles. And the bubbles would work really well with this as well. So there's another set and there's more little fishies here. So, yeah, you could even add sea, sea uh, starfish, all sorts of things. They're the bubbles. The bubbles are great. So that's a possibility. <laughs> yeah, Joan, I've done it too. Some stamped, some stamped fish on the base would be really nice. I agree. I'm actually not using the stamp set tonight, but I'm actually happy with this card just the way it is. I like it. Um, as a one other thing you could do is um, add on some, um, which I'm not going to do it, but you could add on some linen thread um, because linen thread um, on a guy card I think looks really good. I probably wouldn't tie it on a bow, 
for a guy, but I'd, you know, wrap it around and tie a knot. That would look good as well. So there we go. All right, card number one done. All right, we're going to call that a done card. And there we go. So I'm going to move all of these things out of the way. Even with the vellum circle, I know. Who who knew, right? <laughs> All right, so Gone Fishing is the name of the set with the stamps and the dies, and then the the paper is called Let's Go Fishing, and the paper is what's on sale right now. So I'm just going to pop my little fishy back in here where he belongs. I like that all the things fit in the tackle, tackle box too. It makes them easy, easy to know which goes where, so that's really handy. All right, let me move those back out of the way. And I'm going to put my Love This Guy stamp back into my He's All That stamp set, which is also good. Both of these are good for Father's Day. So if you're looking for a good Father's Day sets, I'd suggest either this one or the Gone Fishing, either one. They're both really good. So if you've got a guy who doesn't fish, this one might be more your thing. Okay, but if you have a guy who does fish, then fish the fishing is the fishing is where it's at, guys. So anybody else have fond childhood memories of fishing? All right. So I've actually done this card vertically, so I've got a long fold, so it actually stands up like that. So I like to do my cards like that sometimes. I think it's nice and it's a nice way to display cards. In that vertical fold so that's kind of cool oh you like it ah fisherman's son good 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 okay even with the vellum circle says michelle so we know we're on a winner if, if the vellum circle is actually okay <laughs> cindy had a good point she said can you even call yourself a stamper here it is on the screen can you even call yourself a stamper if you haven't stuck a card front on upside down i think not um, sometimes um, I call that a, an Irish card. I don't know why. Somebody told me that was an Irish card and I don't, you know, that's, yeah. But we've all got enough Irish heritage in us or a lot of Australians do that um, that, that shouldn't bother us. <laughs> so I know I do. Way back when, my great-great-grandmother, um, and if Lani's watching, she knows this because she we share a great-great-grandmother. Um, she um, moved over here from Ireland and she was the youngest of 21 children. Can you even imagine? I can't, I can't even think what that would be like. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. All right. So I'm going to do something fun with you now. I, well, it's all fun, right? But I want to show you something that you can do with a new set of dies. And I do know where these ones are, so you'll be happy to know that. <laughs> Um, I was playing with these earlier and discovered a couple of things. These are the patchwork pieces dies, and these are new in the in the new catalogue that came out last month. They are. Let me show you where they are. Here they are on page one sixty five. There are two dies. They're sixty one dollars here in Australia, um, and they have they're called patchwork pieces because the edges are all stitched. And they kind of all fit together, okay? Now, when I was putting, wanting to do something with these, I, I like them from the first time I saw them, but there's a, you can do a lot of fun things, okay? And I want to show you a couple of things with these tonight. So here they are. They make a smaller shape than a card front. All right, so this one, in fact, this one I haven't even had it off the backing yet. This one is like a starburst, and as you can see, it's got, can you see all the all the stitched edges to it, right? So they both are the same size. Yes, they are. And if I was to run this one through with one of my, these these are the, what did we say these are called? Inked and tiled papers. These, these are a 6 by 6 48 sheet pack. And as you can see, I've already been playing with it and having a bit of fun with it. Um, lots and lots of really fun stuff in here. Okay, now what I wanted to do was show you if I was to put this through, and I am going to put it through, my um, machine, how it works and how I make a little patchwork 
piece. Now, I like both sides of this paper, and I think they'll go rather well together. If you have paper that has a side and a, like two sides that actually match really well, then this is something you can do with just one sheet of paper and get a patchwork effect. So let me grab my machine in. Has anyone got these or anyone noticed them and wondered what they're like? <laughs> oh, that's it. There you go, Cherie. That's lovely. I, I I learned to fish with my dad when I was little and it brings back such good memories because, I, you know, my dad was a busy man and uh, he's a builder, had his own business, and we didn't see a lot of him because he'd be gone from, you know, 7 a.m. to <laughs> some late time of the day. All right, so I'm going to run this through, okay, and when I do, hopefully you'll be able to see what it is that I mean. So just one piece. You don't need two pieces, all right? We might do the other one with the other design another day, uh, maybe next week, or maybe Sunday, or maybe next week. If you want to see it Sunday, I can do it Sunday, but maybe next next week. Um, we'll see. I'm not sure yet. But what I want to do here is I want to – I'm going to put this over here, and I'm going to get – a piece of white cardstock. In fact, I'm just going to um, just use some thick basic white and do my card. Well, that'll be for the base of the card. And then I want a piece of just basic white cardstock, not the thick stuff, just the normal stuff. And I'm going to make this the same size. So how big is this? Roughly eight centimetres. Is that right? Yep, eight by, we'll say eight by 12, okay, which is actually a very good size to work with on a card. It's a good card front panel. All right, this way. So let's go. I'm going to go 12. And then we're going to go eight this way. So basically I'm wanting to make a backing to put my pieces onto. It just makes things easier. All right. So while I've still got this here, okay, I'm going to, it's easier to position them straight on. Okay, so you can kind of see how they, I'm going to put them all on as they are, first of all. all my little patchwork pieces. Does anyone here like doing puzzles? Who likes to do a puzzle? Because this is what this reminds me of. It reminds me of doing some sort of jigsaw or something, and I really, really like it. it I don't know. There's something very satisfying about putting the pieces all together. But other people might, and there might be some people who don't like doing this. Now, because this particular one is symmetrical, you can do this, okay? The other design, let me show you. The other design, this one, this one is not symmetrical, okay? So this one we can't do with one piece what we do with, with this one. Okay, so this one you can do it because it's symmetrical. This one you can't. So this one, if you want to do patchwork with this, you have to cut two or more pieces. If you want to do it with two pieces, then you'll need to cut two pieces. But I can switch this one and that one. Oh, I'm actually not going to. I'm going to switch the opposite ones. So I'm going to switch this one. Oh, I've got to work it out. This one. I'll work it out in a second. Anyway, I'll get there. <laughs> it is easier to cut too, I have to say. There you go. That one's going to go there. So you can start to put the pieces and oppose them. So So I'm just going to kind of do some of them. And then I might 
might do that one and that one turn those over and you can see that the pattern is starting to show through but yeah I need to play with this more but I kind of they do look like patchwork to me does that make sense what we're doing kind of So then you'll start gluing them in place. And you can kind of work with the edge of your paper because you've cut that to the right size. You don't like puzzles, Monique says. <laughs> I do like the paper though. Don't you like the paper? It's really nice. So this paper's got Lost Lagoon and Calypso Coral and what else has it got? It's got um, Petal Pink. I think the yellow is Crush Curry from memory. It does tell you always on the back of your paper paper pack what what colors are in it I did um I can tell you if you listen carefully this is important for anyone who's planning on doing craft along with me I announced the craft along event in my newsletter so if you get my newsletters you'd already know um, it won't be because of a clash with other things going on. I've moved Craft Along to the last Wednesday of the month. So I think that's, what, the 28th from memory? Um, and it'll be 2 p.m. on the 28th. And we're going to be doing pocket cards. So that's a bit of fun. So I'm putting all my pieces in one by one. Just a little bit of Tombow on the end of each one. And you can kind of just meet them right up next to each other. And then you get those lovely um, lovely stitched edges that makes it really actually look like patchwork, like a quilt. Oh, that one. Oh, I have done poorly because I... Ah, look what I've done. going to see if I can move this if it hasn't dried too much I didn't measure up quite accurately let's see no it won't matter I'll be to get it back down again oh dear I'm having one of those nights but that's okay as long as we end up with two beautiful cards who really cares right whoop that one goes that way All right, that's better, but it's actually a little bit shorter than my paper, so I need to be a little bit careful there. All right, so there's that one and this one. So I'm putting some next, some of the same ones next to each other, but that doesn't matter. You, in the end, just end up with a symmetrical starburst kind of puzzle look, patchwork. And then I think because this is so um, so pretty and like there's a fair bit, I mean, there's a bit of work in it, but the, the dye makes it easy. All you've actually got to do is glue it into place. So my thinking is that once you've done this, you want to keep it pretty simple because the pattern in itself is the focal point. So let's just pop that up here and then we're going to do the last couple of petal pink ones you love the paper margaret congratulations margaret on your um on your achievement and really really i hope you enjoy the bonus that is going to arrive in your bank account you should do something special with it something just for you 
that's exciting. Okay. All right, so now all my pieces, can you see how it's come together? Looks really pretty. And because we have the two different designs, but they go together so beautifully, it's just, it's really nice. Okay, I'm just going to grab my trimmer and we'll trim off that excess down the bottom here that I went a little bit, I was just a little bit long. That's better. Now, oh, and while I'm at it, let me cut my card base, which is 15 or 14.8 roughly is, it's actually 14.8, like five, eight, five, but um, I usually just do 14.8. That's just easier. All right, and let's grab a bone folder and get that flattened down. And then this is going to go onto my card. Now, the question is, it looks really good, but do I want to put... Do I want to have a border around it? Or do you think it doesn't need one? It might not need one, you know. It's a soft edge. But if I wanted to do, say, either Calypso Coral or Lost Lagoon as a border, I could. Silly me. I tried to order, I ordered a pack of Lost Lagoon cardstock and I tried to order a, a, a bundle of Lost Lagoon ribbon. So this is how this would look if it was around this okay and if I went with the Calypso Coral I could pop that around that which actually I think I prefer but um, but it doesn't necessarily need one I could just have the white piece around oh border says Rose border says Jody okay there you go <laughs> so we are saying we're talking about a border and Leslie said Lost Lagoon, so we have to go with Lost Lagoon. Now, I know I measured this to be 8 by 12. It's slightly less long than 12 because that's what we what we discovered. So, yeah, 2 millimetres less. So it's 11.8 by 8. So I want this to be half a centimetre small. So 11.8 is going to be 12.3. So, yeah, I was halfway through that story. Um, I, instead of ordering a roll of ribbon, I accidentally ordered two packs of Lost Lagoon cardstock. So instead of getting the ribbon and the cardstock, I just got lots of cardstock. So now I have to make sure I use lots of Lost, Lost Lagoon. All right, so happy with that. I'm going to attach this to my Lost Lagoon border. Everyone's saying Lost Lagoon, so we picked the right colour, Leslie. All right, here we go. Now, something I haven't talked about tonight, but it's super, super important, and I really want you guys to know about it, and that is the fact that we have a joining special at the moment. If you haven't heard about this already, um, it's always a good deal to join, but... At the moment, if you join right now until the end of this month for only $169, you get to pick, let me just give you the exact amount because I should know it off by heart and I don't. Um, 83 is what you're going to get the value of and only spend $169. So that means you're getting $114 worth of product for free in your demonstrator kit. So do have a think about that if it's something you've ever considered. Um, I think it is the best value and the kit is not where the value is. The kit and the discount even is where the value is. To me, the value is in the community and the, the girls, the people that I have met through Stampin' Up. To me, that is a, a hundred times worth any value that I got in my kit, which was already fantastic. But the actual community is to me what makes it worth it. I love being part of this community. Um, been doing this now could you believe nearly 17 years it'll be 17 years in September and I cannot wait um, to you know share with you guys for years to come because this is what I love to do it's the best ever best ever job I've got to tell you I'm so glad I did it and maybe you'll be saying that too all right so this is how this is looking now do we like it do you like it what do you think 
All right, so I'm now going to add something to it. Now, normally I would add a vellum circle. Everyone knows this, but I'm thinking maybe because we added a vellum circle on the other one, maybe we have to go with something different, maybe. But vellum would be good because any card that needs something soft, soft is always lovely with vellum. Vellum is always soft. That's why I love it so much. Um, but I could just put a little um, a label on it. That would be nice as well. Let me grab one of my one of my um, die sets. It's got a nice label. The Cheerful Daisies has a really nice label in it that's useful for something like this. So, or if I wanted to make this, do I want to make it landscape? Do we like landscape or portrait? I think I like portrait. But maybe someone thinks landscape would be better. I don't want a really big, I know I don't want a big um, label in the middle, just something small. I think that would be better. The cheerful daisies is where I'm headed because I think that's really nice. It's got a one simple label in it that I really like. And it's this one. So if we were to go, you love these evenings. I'm so glad. That's awesome. You know what, Jody? Today was the cutoff date. We had to decide by today. And I have been umming and ahhing and umming and ahhing for ages now. And today, I'm very sad to say I won't be going. I can finally, up until now, I one day you asked me, I'd say, yes, I was going. And another day I was saying, no, I wasn't. Um, but I finally made my decision as of today. And the reason why, well, there's a couple of reasons. It's mostly financial. Um, I need to I need to make sure that um, I'm doing the right thing. Like lots of people, you know, um, with interest rate rises and things, we've just got to be really careful right now. So I, I made the really hard decision to, um, to say no as of today. But... I'm a bit sad, but I'm gonna, I've decided I'm going to be happy with my decision. I'm still, still going to watch the recorded content, so I'll still get the value of what's being shared there. Minus the jet lag, minus the expensive airfares. So that's my choice. That's what I decided in the end. There we go. Oh, now we've got people saying portrait, landscape, landscape. Yeah. We just had to, we had to make a decision and in the end, that's what it came down to. Now, Lost Lagoon um, would be the colour probably that I would choose, either Lost Lagoon or um, because we've used the Lost Lagoon around the outside, I probably want to do my stamping in Lost Lagoon. But I'm actually going to up it. Pretty Peacock and Lost Lagoon look really, really, really good next to each other. Okay, so here's Lost Lagoon. But the pretty peacock, as you can see, it has the same, it's very, it's very similar. It's just like a darker, a darker, and I think it might be really nice for my saying. I'm just deciding what I want to say. Um, the inked and tiled stamp set is the one that matches this paper. So let's have a little look here. We've got a really nice a hello friend, a happy birthday, a just a note, a thank you. First person to tell me what you want to have, I will do. And I'll tell you why I'm not going to sponge the edges. I could. I could get away with it. But I tend not to. If I've got stitching on my edges, I prefer not to. Oh, you can't see it very well. Come on. Focus. Focus. There it is. Um, I tend not to. I don't want to mess with the beautiful stitching. So I tend to not sponge the edges. All right. Just a note, says Michelle. So just a note it is. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, just a note. Now, I have got, let me put this on the block. Um, I've got grid paper below here. If you don't work on grid paper, can I just suggest that you get some because it is fantastic. Um, we Ours comes in, I, this is a brand new pack. I just bought a new pack of 100. Um, it lasts for ages and ages and ages. And it helps you keep your work straight. All right, so you can see right now that my my desk isn't straight because... My phone is not quite straight. Let me try and straighten that up. Let's see if I can get it better. All right. So what I like to do is I like to practice by 
lining it up for what looks straight looking through my block and see if it's straight on my grid paper. And it's not quite. The note, the E, goes down a little bit, okay? So that means it's not quite straight. When, I put, when I've put this on, for whatever reason, it's not put on quite straight. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my, put my label on so it also lines up with the grid paper. And I know that the E has got to be moved up ever so slightly. So that's going to help me get that straight on here. There we go. It's perfectly straight now. <laughs> so there we go. We've got our just a note. Just a note is nice because you can give it to anybody anytime, right? And hello friend is nice too. And a spool of thread. Sorry. <laughs> I, uh, I can put some, actually, you know, a little bit of um, twine on here would be nice. Is that what you're alluding to? If not, that's okay. It's... Um, still a nice idea I'm still going to do it so I'm going to put that on here and I'm going to grab a little bit of grid paper sorry not grid paper what am I saying uh twine linen thread is what I'm trying to say I think I'm all over the fairies bit tonight sorry guys right so let's whack that on and we're going to need bling of course as well it's a simple little card but I really it's very sweet I really like it and I'm going to make my, if you don't have this, this a few things you need to have. If you're going to be serious about wanting to make beautiful things, there's a couple of items that I think are necessary. Linen thread is one of them. I always have some in my collection. It just goes with so many things and looks fabulous. You can use it on mail cards. You can use it on um, any card. It's just fantastic stuff. And it goes with so many color schemes. You don't need you don't need to be working with this color for it to go. All right, so let's pop that in there, and I'm going to use my scissors and cut the ends. And then, of course, we need some bling, right? Definitely bling. <laughs> the one with the scissors and stuff. Oh, right. That would be nice. What a great idea. Now I'm with you, Michelle. I'm so, so sorry you had to write in capitals and yell that at me. <laughs> the one with the scissors and stuff. Michelle has got a really good idea. And I might add that. Um, let me see. I've got it here. Do we like the patchwork look? Do you kind of like that with the different colours? I really like it. Um, so the threads that she's talking about are actually dyes um, and it would look really, really nice because it looks, you know, with the patchwork, such a nice idea to add. Um, it's called Crafting With You, this whole set, and the dyes are by the same name. These days they make the stamp sets and the dyes the same name, which makes things so much easier. I'm just looking for my dyes in my dye box. And they're probably going to be all the way down the bottom. What's the bet? Mm, they're not in there, Michelle. You know what? That's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna add them, I think, because that's such a good idea. I think a little bit of a um, little bit of um, and maybe even we might keep it in like crumb cakey kind of colours, crumb cake and um, for the spools and then maybe some Lost Lagoon for the thread, maybe, or maybe Calypso Coral. That would be nice. But there we go. We do need bling though, as was already mentioned. And I'm thinking about what bling would look good. We could use the gold from these guys. By the way, there's an overstock of these, the brush metallic adhesive back dots. We have an oversupply of those in the um, in the warehouse. So if anybody wants to order them, go for it <laughs> because we have plenty. All right, I'm looking to see what else would look nice. You know what else would look nice? I know what would look nice. Some of these Calypso Coral gems. Wouldn't that look good? So if I put one down here and then maybe... Little bit closer. 
here we go just like that and your little bit of little bit of little bit of bling there and there we go I like it but I love your idea Michelle and I'm going to when I dig up those um those dies I was using those yesterday and as always happens I'm not very good at putting things away after I use them I don't know why that is I just am not so that's why my craft room is always a mess because I forget to put things away and then when I want to use them they're not where they should be so and that's my dirty little secret I'm so sorry i but you know what? I know. I know I'm not the only one who does that. So there we go. Oh, you got your dies. Yay. What sort of die cutting machine do you have, Jamie? Do you have a cuddle bug or, you know, one of the electric ones or what do you have? Oh, I'm so glad you like them. So we have two cuts. We have this one with made with the, um, the patchwork pieces dies, which I think turned out really nice. And this one, which is a masculine card, but I really, I really like how that turned out. So we ended up with two portrait cards tonight. Um, and I really, I like the bronze dots on here. I think they worked out really, really well. So there we go. Completely, completely different to what I, I didn't really have an idea of what we were going to create tonight, but that's what we've ended up with. Dies in the stamp box, stamp set box. Yeah, um, probably not because I, um, the stamp sets right here and no so definitely not in there they're out on the table because um when i did a class this week i haven't completely packed up from the class and the girls were using a lot of different things so i'm get i know that that's where they're going to be when i clean up the table i will find them <laughs> oh that's okay guys <laughs> you're welcome thanks for thinking of the idea michelle I'm really, really glad that you like them all. Oh, Lynn has a question. What is the name of the paper pack used in the patchwork card? This one. This is called Inked and Tiled. Okay, they're um, they're in the in the big annual catalogue and they are on sale at the moment. So these these papers right now, this is them. And I didn't even get around to showing you how these work with the punches. Oh, my goodness. The punches are fabulous. I'm going to show you those in another video coming up because you can do so much with them. They've got a matching a matching punch set that goes with the dies. Uh, sorry, with beg your pardon, that goes with the stamps. So the inked and tiled set is the one that I've just had out, this one here. And then it's got a matching punch pack that goes with it, a bundle. So, um I did, I did some fun things with this. I'm going to sneak peek something to you um, that um, is part of something coming up for Craft Along that you'll get to see when I do Craft Along. That's these, and I did a little bit of stamping with it. Um, and this is actually the pocket that goes in one of the pocket cards that we're going to be creating on the 28th of June. So um, the, this is this stamp right here. And this one here is the one at the top. So... Yep, and I use the lots of love from this as well. So lots of fun things coming up with that. Book the put the craft along in your diary if you can. If you can't watch it live, you can always watch the replay. So it'll be 2 p.m. on the 28th of June. And I really hope you can be part of it. Um, those of you who ordered last month with me um, will be getting the supply pack to make the project that we're going to be making. So uh, Inked Bot Botanical DSP. Thank you very much, Jodie. That is the name of it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, I'm off. Um, this is Friday, so that means we've got a beautiful weekend coming up. I'm going out with some, going out to some friends' home for dinner tomorrow night. So really looking forward to that. And, um, and then I'll be back here to see you on Sunday night. So have a great weekend, and I will see you then. Bye-bye, guys.